Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this one. I really appreciate all of your support that you guys have shown on our channel. And to everyone that has been subscribing, thank you so much, it means a lot. In today's video, I will be sublimating on Dollar Tree items. I will be sublimating on this red backpack. Yes, we got it at Dollar Tree, but it was only 25 cents. These were on sale and they were trying to get rid of them. So we went ahead and grabbed one of these backpacks to practice on. And we also grabbed some similar bags to this one, but since this one was only 25 cents, I want to practice sublimating on this one first. And then we also grabbed these two pencil bags. They look like little mermaid tails. The zipper is on the top right there. They have a cute sequins front. And then the back is a nice polyester fabric. For this teal one, I am gonna push the sequins up and sub or down. And I'm going to sublimate on the silver side. And then when you push it up, it will just cover up with the blue. And I will also do the same thing on this pink one. So this one is like a pink and silver side. And when you push these sequins up, it turns silver. And guys, this will be my first time sublimating on sequins. So I'm really excited about that. Guys, while I'm recording, I also edit my video. So I record a clip and then I edit it. I did forget to say that I'm also sublimating this little bib and also this baby towel that I got from Dollar Tree. We'll also be sublimating those in this video. First, I'm going to take you guys on my phone and show you how I make the design and also where I find all of my stickers. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up and let's get into this video. So I'm gonna take you guys into Pixar and grab the white background. And I'm going to duplicate this because one is going on the bib and one is going on the towel. I went ahead and cut out the print for the bib and then also the one for the towel. Now I'm just trying to decide where the name should go. So I think this one, I'm gonna put it down here. And this one, it looks like there's not gonna be enough room right here under the dinosaur. I think I am just gonna do it right over the dinosaur. So I'm gonna take you guys over to the press. We're gonna be pressing at 380 degrees for 50 seconds. I have my butcher paper down on the press. I have my bib on here. And now I'm just going to flip this name over on the bib. I did want to tell you guys that both of my tripod ring lights broke. And so I'm basically just having to hold my phone until we can go get another one. Those ring lights were from Walmart. I'm going to definitely invest in nicer ones. Anyway, so let me flip this name over and we'll go ahead and press for 50 seconds. You guys ready? One, two, three. And now onto the towel. I went ahead and put the print side down onto the towel. I have a new piece of butcher paper down and I'm grabbing a new piece of butcher paper for the top and we're pressing again for 50 seconds. You guys ready? One, two, three. And now we're gonna go ahead and sublimate these two pencil bags. So I'm gonna take you onto the computer here is our design right here. I didn't really talk when I printed out that first print, but if you guys are still in the video, thank you for making it this far. And I'm going to show you how I actually print these prints out. So we're gonna go to file, go to print, Epson 15,000, default settings, copies one, pages all, US letter size, we are using eight and a half by 11, and I'm using the ASUB brand ASUB sublimation paper. If you guys are looking for sublimation supplies, I do have everything linked down below in the description and all of those items are from Amazon. Okay, so paper size eight and a half by 11. Orientation is portrait. Auto rotate, we're gonna turn off. Media quality, best. 
layout, we're going to flip horizontally so our words do not come out backward. Paper handling, scale to fit paper size, back to preview. So I am going to scale down that size. So we're gonna to go to scale and let's try 10. And I think I am gonna try it at 12%. Hopefully that's not too big. And then I'm going to click print and that's all I do for my settings. Then you want to just cut out the names. We're gonna be pressing for 50 seconds as well. So I just have to flip these names over and press each of them and show you guys how they turn out. All right, so this was kind of a fail on my part. I forgot to hang this tail off of the press. And as you can see, it did peel up all of this. The next one, we are going to make sure that the tail is off of the press. But let me go ahead and show you guys the print. You guys ready? One, two, three. The colors on this one came out really nice. I'm so sad that the tail melted. I don't know why I didn't hang it off the press, but now I know for the next one that I will hang that tail off of the press. I was thinking this was vinyl for some reason, and I'm guessing that it is plastic. Definitely hanging that off the press this time. And yeah, so let's take this pink one over and try this one out. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm hanging it off of the press. And yeah, hopefully this one turns out better. Guys, and this one's obviously going to be a lot better because I kept the tail hanging off of the press. You guys ready? One, two, three. And now I'm going to print out the sequin side of the pencil bag. I'm not going to go through all of the settings on this one. I do want to show you guys what I scale this image to, basically what size my print is going to be. I do it at 9%. Hopefully that fits on that bag and I don't have any problems. I already flipped it and then I also checked media quality and made sure it was on best and I'm going to go ahead and print it out. And I also remembered to hang the tail off so we don't accidentally melt the tail again. Basically just flipped all of the sequins from the pink side to the silver side. I'm gonna go ahead and put my image on here and press it for 50 seconds. Okay, are you guys ready? One, two, three. And now it's time to sublimate the backpack. I'm super excited for this one. I did save it for last, so hopefully you've watched the whole video. And now you get to see my favorite one, show you guys what paper we use, and then also try to show you guys how I'm gonna print off my design, and we'll get it pressed. And for the backpack, I am going to be using the ASUB sublimation paper, and it is the 13 by 19 inch paper. So if you guys are also looking for this paper, I do have it linked down in my description and I'm gonna go ahead and load it into the printer. I did mess up again and I'm really mad at myself because we bought one of these backpacks and when I pre-pressed it to get it nice and flat so that my print would set nicely, I did melt the strap. It probably is a plastic strap. Maybe this backpack is not sublimatable. And then part of this zipper right here, maybe the ring on that zipper is plastic because it also melted. But guys, that is what this video is for to show you guys if you can or cannot sublimate a Dollar Tree item. This one was definitely another fail. I did pre-press with this Teflon and it also melted all over it. So I'm gonna have to get a new piece of Teflon. That one is a definite fail, dang it. So yeah, this one's not sublimatable and I guess my video is gonna be shorter. Guys, I'm pretty sure that this strap on this backpack is plastic. And then also the little ring that holds the zipper on is also plastic and that is why those melted. I think that the material itself can be sublimated, but I don't think that you can put the whole backpack under the press. You could probably hang that strap off of the press before you press it and then maybe take off the ring and the zipper and it might press fine. You guys saw in the video that it did melt. The material itself on the backpack did not melt and I've seen other people sublimate on material like this. So I think the sublimation would be fine. But as far as putting the whole backpack under the press, um, don't do that because obviously it will melt those straps. If you guys already knew that, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, so that one was a fail. Also, this one was a fail because I didn't put this tail off of the press. So if you guys do press one of these, be sure to hang the tail off of the press and it will come out perfectly fine. So I love how this one printed out. I didn't bother wasting any ink or paper on the backside just because I'm most likely gonna throw this away. I do love how the pink one turned out. The colors look super nice and the back also came out nice. I already knew this side would sublimate very well because it is kind of that towel material. I think my first time for the sequins came out really nice. So far, two fails, one pass. Also, this bib came out really nice. 
also recommend the little towel. If you guys are wanting to make a personalized gift for someone that's having a baby, these are really nice. This would be a really cute gift set. Yes, they are from Dollar Tree, so they are a lot thinner, but you know, babies grow fast, so it will be a nice little gift. I would definitely recommend sublimating on pencil bags. The baby towel and baby bib, they came out perfectly fine. And maybe the backpack, you could just take the plastic parts off or hang them off of the press. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below if you guys want to see more of our videos and we'll see you guys in the next one.